Um, I began INDS because I started looking into graduate programs and doctoral programs uh, in my field in biological anthropology. Um, and they're so diverse and it's so broad and there are so many things that you really have to know and know well um, in order to be accepted into those programs. And there was no direct line in the university where I would be able to accumulate all of this knowledge with osteology and anthropology and um, archaeology and, and biology, um, specifically the human genome and genetic mapping. And there was really no, no way for me to stick all of those things together into one cumulative major and make it interdisciplinary enough for me to really be grounded in something. Um, and one of my friends at the Commons was an interdisciplinary study student, and she kind of asked me why I wasn't already a part of it. She really just didn't, she was like, oh, I thought you were already an interdisciplinary study student. And um, I walked into Patricia Lanou's office, and she said the same thing. She said, why aren't you one of our students? Tell me, tell me about yourself. And I love it. And now my proposal was just passed, and I'm excited. <laughs> so what do you what do you want to do after you graduate? After I graduate, I want to go into um, research as a doctoral student at either George Washington University or Cambridge University um, in either biological anthropology anthropology or uh, paleo osteology. Um, and I, I assume I'll be teaching for quite a few years while I'm doing that because that's kind of how you get through it. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and then I love love to go on to work in a natural history museum setting. Are you working on an archaeological dig now? I'm not currently. I worked on one this summer with the Lost Towns Project uh, in Annapolis, Maryland, and we actually found a distal phalange um, amongst some of our, our digs, and it was pretty exciting. It's kind of like a shh, because it could be Indian, but a Native American. <laughs> but. Um, <laughs> Okay.